<laughs> there is not, here. It is hot in here. <laughs> and you know what? There is nothing better than coming home after a chilly winter day, throwing on some sweatpants and enjoying some comfort food. You can't tell how full you are in sweatpants, which is what I love. Chef Crystal, <laughs> we hear that we're going to be absolutely loving what you're making. Most you're definitely. letting some of the water come out I from am. the pasta, pasta you were boiling. Like I said, we're always cooking in here. This always. is real. Yeah, exactly. this is real. This is an active kitchen. Exactly. And, well, and I love it. We walked in and it smelled like dinner. It's how, oh. what you want your home to smell like exactly. when you come home. Exactly. It's, it's Winter, hearty meals, thinking about your family being all together. Yeah. That's the best memories. So, yeah, absolutely. And, but it can be simple. It's right. not mom in the kitchen, kitchen all day all cooking, day. okay? Because we well, don't have time for exactly. that. Exactly. one of these, the crock pot thing. The best. Oh. Put it on and they're safe. They're safe. Right. I mean, my mom always had one. Put it on in the morning and you're done. And you're done. Right? Yeah. We have so many new advancements with them, too. But we're going to start with our short ribs, right? Okay. So I have uh, a Market District's uh, Certified Angus Beef Short Ribs, which are really, really pretty. And what I did was I seasoned them with salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and then I put a little bit of oil in the pan, and then I browned them. And I started ahead because I want you guys to see that you really want to get your short ribs nice and brown. Yeah, you can see that. Because it's going to create a lot of flavor, okay? So we're going to take the lid off of that one and we're going to start to build it. this, okay? okay? Let me take out the, just a little uh, yeah. fuzz in there. So Don't want our fuzz brand on new. our brand, brand new. Brown new brand yeah, new. brand new. All right. Okay, so you didn't have to worry. You can leave it there. I know, you're a pro. In my, the closer the better in my house because I just leave a trail everywhere I go. It's with the sweep, the mop, sweeping, mopping. Right. It's all good, right? And I don't have time for And the for kids that are good for that too, the right? The dog, more importantly. Nice. It just cleans, it just stays in the kitchen yeah, with I me. I miss they, that. You know, I do. So I'm going to put some onion in there. That's one of them. A nice big onion. And then some mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And then you want to do the same thing. You want this to get really brown, okay? And as they say, scrape up the brown bit That's from exactly all the That's exactly it, right? because it's going to release some water. And the other tip with onions and with mushrooms is the fact that you really want to have some nice high heat. Okay. So a lot of times people okay. are afraid of that high heat, and so they put it on low, and then they realize they've got a lot of water sitting in that pan, right. and it takes a long time. Um, so you want nice high heat to get that flavor development and also um, that browning, that caramelization. And it's sucking up all the little bits of meat. That exactly. Are in yeah. That's exactly it. So then after you do that and you get it nice and brown, you're going to take and throw in some flour, right? And you have oil in there. So you just go ahead and you're going to cook that for about a minute or two. I like to get a little bit of color on that. It's extremely important because... It, the difference between the restaurant of that really dark gravy and then at home and it's kind of that light brown yeah. is making sure that you brown off that flour. Okay, and that's then, good to know. That's a good tip. Mm -hmm. Then the thyme. Now, the recipe tells you to chop it up. It's great. You know? I don't do that. I don't do it. The reason I don't do it, and it, uh, there's nothing wrong with it, okay? Yeah. The reason I don't do it is if you just leave it like this and you put it in your pot on the top, the stems have lots of flavor. You come back in, pull it right off the top. Well, and a lot of times the, the little leaves will come off too, so you don't even have to That's worry exactly. about the leaves come off. Right, yeah. That so while so you're pulling a stem. I have done, I have gone across oh, the... Oh, David. I have gone, picked oh. off all the leaves. He I didn't throw know it right in sorry. there. I'm the so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so after we do that, I'm going to take some balsamic vinegar, mm -hmm. okay? And this is nice. So you always think like carrots and things like that. This gives a little sweetness as well. So that's nice, and we think wine too. It acts like that as well. A little bit of acid brings well, out the flavor. So good, and the beef stock and then is going in. You take the beef stock, you throw that in, and then that's all going to go right on top of the short ribs, right? Okay. So once you do that and you cook it, and the recipe says five hours or so, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to end up with the one that's in front of you. Okay. Wow. Oh, this looks fantastic. Yes. Okay, so, so you're gonna start I'm with gonna that. take and put a little bit of noodles in here. I'm gonna give you guys some noodles. Okay. okay. Um, we'll try to complete a plate here so that's that you can exactly see what it's it. supposed to look like. Okay. I love paparadelli pasta. By I the do. Way. Too. It's one of my favorites. And it's something that's big and hearty like this. What you want? <laughs> that's okay. It's, it's good. for you, Heather. Oh, 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 it's for me. I didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> I need the uh -huh. plate closer. Okay, exactly. <laughs> and then you can always put a little bit more parsley right on top of okay. it to garnish it. All right, I'm gonna try and get oh, it. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. No, there were you. some smaller pieces in there. He gave you the biggest one. I know he Go did. Go for <laughs> it. I look out for you. Mm. Oh, oh. Stop. oh, good. That is exactly mm. what I want to eat tonight. Oh, nice. So oh, good. Say, really simple. Right. Really simple oh. and really good. Oh, good. Lovely. Well, Thank for, you. For a copy of today's recipe, just go to PittsburghTodayLive.com mm -hmm. and click on the Cooking Corner tab.